what is going on guys and welcome to html tutorial in brackets in this video we're going to add links to our page now there's going to be three types of links there's going to be an external link and there's going to be a link within our own page and then there's going to be a link that's basically going to be working like a bookmark right now we're going to start with an external link and if we wanted to add a link we should know by now that we need to create an element and that element would be over here a link and now whatever i'm going to be typing in between is going to work as a link right so i go over here and let's say i'm going to write google but as you can see that i'm pressing and nothing is happening right and the reason why nothing is happening is because we need to add an attribute to this link element and the ad attribute is href over over here and you can see that it gives me right now the options if I would want to stay within the page, which would I could go to index.html, which is the same file, or I can go to images, but we don't want to do that. We're going to do that in the next video. Also over here, we're going to write an external link. And between these quotation marks, what I need to write is the actual address where I want to go. So over here, I'm going to write HTTP, and then I'm going to put a colon over here, then two forward slashes, and I'm going to write www.google.com. Okay. Now, here's another thing. Right away, you can see that it, it changed. And now if I would press it, I could actually go there. I could go to Google. Now, but I what I want to do is I actually don't want to... So as you can see, now I have a Google to my page. So as you can see, now we have added a link to our page and we can just click it and we're going to go to Google. However, one thing that I would want to do is as you're creating a page, right, web page, you would want the people who are actually going maybe to a different website from your website, but you want them to come back. So you'd want this link to be actually opened in a new window not in uh, not just leaving your site and just going somewhere else and then probably maybe never coming back so in order to do that we would have to add an, another attribute and that would be target over here and the value for this target we would have to write over here blank right so you can see over here that i have ch choices blank parent self top well i want blank so now when we click it over here on the google you can see that i have a new page okay and it is google and i haven't been making this up we have created a link however you can see that i still have my web page so whoever is visiting your web page they can check out whatever they want but they will still gonna have to go back to your website because you have actually opened the link in a new page uh, this is gonna be it for this video guys thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video